Welcome back, Real Talk family. So, from the title of this video, you already know what we are going to be talking about. But before we get started, I would first like to start off by saying, Welcome back. Thank you guys for being a part of the channel. And to those that are new to my channel and you like my content, make sure you subscribe. Click that notification bell so you never miss a video that I upload. Okay, you guys, so let's just go ahead and get right on into it. This, today, we are going to be talking about hypotheses and hypotheses relates to the science portion of the GED test. So what is a hypothesis? A hypothesis is a testable explanation for an, for an observation, phenomenon, or scientific problem. A hypothesis is supported or refuted through experiments and observations. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the first part of this lesson. Paul offered to help his friend move a piano into his fourth floor apartment. He told his friend that it would take less effort to move the piano in through the window using the wheel and axle machine mounted on the building's roof rather than moving the piano up the staircase. They conducted tests to determine if Paul's thinking was correct. They measured the size of the piano the hallway, the apartment door, the window, and the distance to the apartment via each route and made calculations with the data. Okay, so what was the hypothesis? The hypothesis was it would take less effort to move a piano up into fourth floor apartment through the window rather than up the staircase. So now what was the test that was conducted? They measured the size of the Piano, the hallway, the apartment door, the window, and the distance. So whenever you are finding the hypothesis, you pretty much have to find a testable explanation. And that could be an observation or it can be just a scientific problem. So they are going to ask you problems like these on the GED test. Okay, so let's get into the next passage. During the 1900s, farmers moved south in part to avoid the occasional freezes of northern Florida. These freezes destroy crops and can cost farmers millions, millions of dollars. Once they moved south, the farmers drained South Florida wetlands to plant sugarcane, tomatoes, and lettuce. In changing the wetlands to agricultural land, the farmers also changed how the land holds heat. This altered land does not hold heat as well as the wetlands did. As a result, scientists have, have noticed that freezes are more common now in South Florida. Scientists hypothesized that destroying the wetland made the local climate cooler and more likely to freeze. They decided to test this hypothesis by making models of wetland and drain wetland ecosystems and testing how each of these systems retain heat. Okay, so we have two problems, so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. What problem can be inferred from the passage? Freezes are more common in South Florida than they were before farmers drained the wetlands. Next problem. What testable, what testable hypotheses might explain the cause of these freezes in South Florida? One testable hypothesis is that the drained land made the local climate cooler and more likely to freeze. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get right more into it. When the hospital lab technicians came into work on a Monday, they were told that their priority was to find the answer to a question. There had been an outbreak of salmonellosis poison it over the weekend. The lab technicians knew that this foodborne illness found in meat, eggs, and other animal products is caused by the Salmonella bacterium. Technicians began their work by asking, what is the source of this outbreak? They came up with a testable hypothesis, which stated that the source of the outbreak came from a single restaurant or store. To test this hypothesis, they interviewed everyone who had gotten sick. They hoped to find patterns in interview data that would then lead them to test the raw food from the places the patients had consumed meat, 
eggs or other animals. Okay, so this is an example, another example of a hypothesis scenario. So you have a problem and then you have a testable hypothesis. So what was the problem? The problem was the outbreak of salmonella losis, and I'm not so good at that word, poisoning. So that was the problem. The poisoning was the problem. And what was the testable hypothesis? The testable hypothesis was that they tested the raw food from the places the patients had consumed. So they had to actually go through with what they wanted to find out for what even caused the outbreak of it. Okay, so we are on our last passage. Let's go ahead and get into it. A food web is one of the most important interrelationships in an ecosystem. An ecologist is conducting a study of the feeding relationships within a food web as a result of the decreasing population of mice in the ecosystem. This diagram shows that the grass is the producer in the ecosystem's food web. The mouse, grasshopper, and rabbit are primary consumers, and the snake, hawk, and sparrow are secondary consumers. Okay, so right down here we have a food web, and you can see how the rabbit attaches to the hawk and then you see how the snake also attaches to the hawk the mouse eats the snake so everything goes in a way and this is the food web that it, they are actually showing so this is an example of a problem a scenario that you can see on the ged test okay so let's continue the ecologist knows that some snake species in this food web primarily eat mice he decided to set up webcams throughout the ecosystem to observe how snakes have adjusted their diets. He hypothesized that snakes, which primarily eat mice, would find another source as the mouse population dwindled. So, what problem did the ecologist identify? He identified the decreasing population of mice. And that is in the last sentence when he says it dwindled. So, that means the same thing. What testable hypotheses did the, did the ecologist form? The ecologist formed that snakes, which primarily eat mice, will find another food source as the mouse population dwindle. And as they stated in the last sentence, he said he hypothesized that snakes, which primarily eat mice, would find another source as the mouse population dwindle. So if you don't know what popular, if you don't like, say you come to something and you don't know what a word means, or you get uh tricked on a word just kind of look at the words around it and you will honestly you will be able to figure out what your answer is okay so i want to give you guys an assignment and this is just a little practice because of the fact that sometimes people um they comment and they say well i don't know what to study i don't know what to do so okay so think of a time you had to solve a problem what hypotheses did you use and how did you test it on a separate piece of paper, make a problem, testable, and a testable hypothesis chart. Then answer the question. Okay, you guys, I hope this video was useful to anybody going to take the science GED test or if you are just taking classes in general. Um, this information that I actually used came from a workbook that I actually got when I was taking GED classes. I figured I would share this information with you guys because I know that some people are in process of taking the test or have failed the test or have passed the test or are feeling nervous about the test. So I wanted to give this information to you guys. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys' support so much. It means a lot to me. If it is something or a particular subject you would like me to go in depth about, make sure you also leave that in the comment section. If you like videos like this, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up so I know that videos like these are helping you guys out. Um, if you have made it this far and you haven't subscribed to my channel, know please go ahead and subscribe click that notification bell so you never miss a video that i upload okay you guys so until next time i will see you guys later thank you all so much for your support so see you next time in the next video later peace